Well, you know, the last time Baylor faced a top 10 team on the road, it was just two weeks ago. It didn't go so well. Quite a forgettable day. So today, Baylor looking to snap a two game skid against Texas. The Longhorns come into the day, though, ranked ninth in the country. Matt Rule and the Bears need two wins for bowl eligibility, a goal they set in the preseason, and Charlie Brewer has been special under center. In the first, Texas up 3-0. Brewer looking left, fires. Denzel Mims makes the catch, 19 yards, and it's 7-3 Bears after one. Second quarter, 10-6 Baylor. Shane Buchel in for the injured Sam Ellinger, and Colin Johnson makes a grab on a 44-yard catch. The Horns retake the lead at 13-10. Later in the second, L. LJ Humphrey from three yards, touchdown, Texas 23-10. The Horns are up at the break. In the third off of Buchel pick, handoff, Jalen Hurd. He's money from short. Baylor trails 23-17. That's the same score here on the final drive of the game. Bears pushing toward the end zone. Brewer over the middle. Midway Panther, Poo Strickland keeps the drive alive with a huge gain and with one second left. Last chance for BU. Brewer going. Rolling, right, sets, fires, back of the end zone. Jalen Hurd can't make the catch. Final, 23-17, Texas Jessica Mori has more tonight from Austin. Well, Curtis, it came down to the wire here at DKR, but the number nine ranked Texas Longhorns, who many say are back, got it done, winning their sixth game of the year to become bowl eligible. Meanwhile, Baylor head coach Matt Rule's message after the game was all about how the Bears beat themselves, and he was right. Texas played the majority of the game without starting quarterback Sam Ellinger, who left early with a shoulder injury. Shane Bouchelle took over and led two touchdown drives in the first half. Texas led 23-10 at the break, but the Bears were able to shut out the horns in the second half. Baylor had a chance to win on that final drive, having to go 97 yards, but they were without their best receiver, Denzel Mims, who was suffering from cramps. Same goes for freshman wideout Tyquan Thornton. Baylor had its chances in the end. This was a very winnable game for the Bears, but like Matt Rule said, they just beat themselves. As I told the team in there, every one of us can look back and say, starting with me, can say, boy, I wish I had done this differently. Um, what we're trying, the message we're trying to get across is we control how we win or lose. We control how we play. And, uh, you know, we, in a game like this, everything counts. And we made one or two mistakes from, from cramp all the way down to the cramping, right? You can't get into a game like this and not play with your best players in the fourth quarter. But we're, we're getting better, and we're, we're, we're getting tougher, and we're starting to figure it out. Baylor has a bye this week, and then a Thursday night showdown on the road at West Virginia on October 25th. The Texas Longhorns are also off this upcoming week. Reporting from DKR, Jessica Mori, Channel 6 Sports.